The Dodgers now have taken the field, and let's set them defensively for you in left field. It is Dusty Baker. Over in center field, it'll be Rick Monday, the left-handed hitter with a right-hander on the mound tonight for New York. In right field, it'll be Reggie Smith, who'll have the sun problem more so than any of the other outfielders. On the left side of the infield at third base, Ron Say. At shortstop for Los Angeles, Bill Russell. At second base, the pressure point, the trigger man for the Dodgers, Davey Lopes, the leadoff man. At first base, the steady one, Steve Garvey. Behind the plate, young man who was battered some in Yankee Stadium the other night but says it feels good today, Steve Yeager. And on the mound, the sinker ball left-hander, Tommy John, who desperately hopes that Larry McCoy, who is the umpire behind the plate tonight, remembers him from the American League. <laughs> Now, offensively for the New York Yankees, Mickey Rivers will lead off. He's 0 for 10 in the series. Willie Randolph batting second. Thurman Munson catching, Lydia. hitting third. Or in right field, Yankees. hitting cleanup, Reggie Jackson. Lou Pinella is batting fifth. Chris Chambliss, the first baseman, is hitting sixth. Greg Nettles batting seventh. Bucky Dent, the shortstop, eighth. And Mike Torres, the pitcher, will be hitting ninth. Oh, the belt buckle all night. He'll be a very tough fellow to handle. Rivers pulls it. It is a looper, it is over Garvey's head, and Rivers is on and going for two. And he goes in at second base with a loop double down the right field line. First hit for Mickey Rivers in the series. He hit Jackson and Nettles and Chambliss. That little guy's got to get on. At least a run in the first inning with a sacrifice fly. There it is. To Davey Lopes at second. Rivers to third easily. Lopes to Garvey to retire Randolph. You've got Rivers at third with one out. That's very good baseball. You're yeah, really dead. Bully's a fine all-around athlete. Thurman Munson stands three for eight with one run batted in in the World Series. Runs batted in this year. He had 18 home runs. He hits it down the right field line. It's a fair ball. It's going to the corner. Mickey Rivers walks home. Thurman Munson digging for second. The throw by Smith. And he's in there. It's a double for Munson. And so the New York Yankees get on the board early as Rivers singles down the right field line. And then Thurman Munson doubles into the corner. This is a man met with me today for about a half an hour. And a complex, sensitive man is feeling... The fact that he is the heat, the center of controversy, and he stood up in front of me, and he went through a series of mock swings, and he said, the pressure is never ending. Paul, oh, what if he doesn't get to? Jackson hits it to left field. It'll drop for a base hit. Munson coming around third. Dusty Baker overruns the ball in left field, and Reggie Jackson goes standing at second base, and the Yankees made it through to nothing. He already has one of the two. Shot at Munson at home plate. He might have had a throw on the turf. Ball is hit on the ground up the middle. It's through there for a base hit. Jackson will turn and hit for home. Monday picks it up and lobs it back in. And Jackson gives the Yankees a 3 to nothing lead. Certainly hasn't shown that way so far. It has clearly spurred them. And Bill White's remarks in the pregame show were precisely to that effect. Let's look at the base hit again. Slider right up the middle. Reggie, of course, on second, looking back at the ball. And you know who was the first guy to greet Reggie when he got to the dugout? I followed him in over there. Billy Barton. So Tommy John being peppered here in the top of the first inning. With one run batted in. The last two hitters have jumped on one and... You're trying, my, my, you're trying to be too fine, you know, with his pitches instead of being aggressive on the mound. Made good pitches to Chambliss, struck him out with a slider. That's two out. And a Dodger error. It's still bright daylight here at Chavez Ravine. Vanella goes. The ball is hit on the ground at Baby Lope. And he throws Nettles out to win the inning. But two doubles, two singles, and an error. And the Yankees break on top. Three to nothing. 
For the Los Angeles Dodgers, Davey Lopes leads it off. Bill Russell bats second, Reggie Smith hits third, Ron Say, the cleanup man, Steve Garvey, batting fifth, Dusty Baker hitting sixth, Rick Mundy in the number seven position, Steve Yeager the catcher eighth, and Tommy John the pitcher in the number nine position. The Yankee defense lines up this way, Lou Pinella in left, Mickey Rivers in center, Reggie Jackson in right. Greg Nettles at third, Bucky Dent at short, Willie Randolph at second, Chris Chambliss at first, Munson doing the catching, and on the mound for the New York Yankees tonight, Mike Torres, and some comments on Mike Torres from Tom Seaver. Well, Mike's a super fighter pitcher, of course, pitching in the National League with several ball clubs, Montreal, Boston, Chicago, 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 Keep the ball down, keep the ball away from his right-hand hitters. He was brilliant in that the fifth game. He was outstanding. He's the reason that the Yankees won. He was uh, Kept the comes up above the stadium. If it should be hit high in the air, still will be trouble for the outfielders against the high sky. Torres, after getting out in front on Lope, loses him as he walks him. Davy Lopes is on, and Billy Russell, who only struck out 43 times in 634 at bats. Sometimes a runner will take a one way lead just to get out there, see what a pitcher's move is going to be like to first base. Yes, there he goes. The throw by Munson. He's safe. They're going to try and make him go. That's the kind of manager Lasorda is. Here's another view of it. He wasn't uh, looking anywhere it was, except for that. <laughs> he wanted to go. I think let's... Now with two strikes, he's got to be defensive at the plate. Ooh, oh, him out on a pitch on the inside corner. Breaking ball, curveball on the inside part of the plate. I think it's cool. And here is Reggie Smith, who hit a monstrous home run in New York. Torres checks. Lopes at second. Smith rolls it on the ground. Baby Lopes breaks. They'll take a turn at third. Throw across in time to get Reggie Smith on a check swing roller. It's not as troublesome throwing the ball as it is swinging the bat. It's the bottom hand when he is at the plate, and he has trouble getting the bottom hand through. It's a field line or in right center. Ball four. One can almost hear the late Frank Fresh saying, oh, those bases on ball. Taurus has made trouble for himself. Garvey, three for eight. Pinch it back from Michigan State. Swings, the ball bounced over the pitcher's head. Randolph at second. And the Dodgers are gone without answering back to the Yankees. Lopes gets aboard. They get him to third, but can't count him. And after one inning of play, the Yankees lead it. Three to nothing. He then, up for the first time tonight, three for seven in the series. To suit their team. So they'll tamp that area in front of home plate. Uh, they'll loosen it up. They'll make it fair. That's a foul ball. They hit the runner in the batter's That's box. what George Lomas, Tom, the groundskeeper at Kansas City, is always accused of doing. One of those people. You make that area hard in front of home plate. You get a lot of high choppers. Like that one right there, you got a chance to get a lot of infield hits. Say to Garvey, one gone. That's tampering with yeah. the field, isn't it? <laughs> Black Torres. Two strikes on Mike Torres. <laughs> He's trying to butt. Pitch was way off the plate, and Larry McCoy called him out. He lives just down the road in Orange County. Rivers hitting 107. In the second game in New York, has come right in on the grass, looking right at Mickey Rivers. Pulled, and it's down the line again. It should go easily for two bases for the speech to Rivers. Uh, Reggie Smith boxes it around a little bit down the line before he can get it back. And Mickey Rivers now with back-to-back -back double. Dodger fans are seeing the Mickey Rivers, who had 326 on the year. Percentages in New York. He went against two right-hand pitchers. He was 0 for 10. He's just a left-hander here. He's 2, two for 2. And Which is imperative this here. Is a big pitch. Try to get him. He lost him. in the first inning is walking up. You can see, four for nine, he's been swinging a tough bat. Troubled fellow. Tom and I spent a lot of time with Thurman today. A two-strike count on Thurman Munson. Two out and two on. Struck him out. 
So Tommy John appearing to loosen up a little more. Strikes out Munson despite a Yankee threat, but Yankees lead it three to nothing. The alleys up to 385 and then 395 straight away center field. That's you on the mound. Hits it up the middle for a base hit. So the Dodgers get the leadoff man aboard and Dusty Baker as Rivers comes in to hurry it back. Taurus is faltering. Taurus, for a period of six weeks, became the bellwether. Pitching complete game after complete game. Five cards on eagle. Three and two pitches swung on and foul tipped into Thurman's glove for strike three. So Rick Mundy is out. Hits and seven trips. He had a home run in the second game in Yankee Stadium. The second of three home runs hit off Jim Hunter. Torres has a look at him. There's John. The pitch to Yeager. He's hit off the hands down the right field line. It's going to fall in there for a the base hit. Yeager turns second, and he's going to third, and Yeager pumps into second with a double. Standing. Here, they had the man who perfected the art. They played in the old Coliseum. They had that extremely short left field porch as the consultation on the mound takes place. The first one the Yankees have had. The man's name was Wally Moon. He cleaned up out there. Cincinnati. And I'm sure Tom Seaver remembers that when he pitched a two hit four nothing. A very big blow. Struck him out, throw the third, and make his back. That's two out. The job for the outfielders, much easier. Outside of Gidry, might be the healthiest of all the Yankee pitchers right now. Both hits it on the right side. Chambers makes a good play on it. Good play. Good Torres play. Covers it. Good oh. play all around. Beautiful coverage oh. by Tom. Yankees turn the Dodgers away and continue to lead after two innings of play, three to nothing. Uh, he might delay on that decision, depending on what happened tonight. He Not still so. may. It's right on the mound, trying to get himself righted, down by three runs. Sharper, Keith. He is. He looks commanding. Every to throw a curveball, throw a changeup. He's got to get his breaking ball over. He's got to be ahead of. He does that. He is tough. Lou Pinella moved up to the number five position in the batting order tonight. Pitch bounces at the plate and strikes Lou on the leg lightly. He trots on down to first base, and Tommy John walked off the mound shaking his hand as if hey, <laughs> a pitcher will build up calluses on his fingers and end of his fingers been in deep trouble recently and he's not swinging well is he Tom sharply to Garvey go to second for one back to first double play three six three double play that is the second of those the Dodgers have pulled off they had one the other night in Yankee Stadium that killed a possible Yankee challenge in the game we'll face Bill Russell Reggie Smith and Ron Say Russell caught look that's, that, would, that would be an average. Russell pulls it to Nettle. Pumps, throws, and gets it. New York, three runs on five hits. Los Angeles, no runs, two hits, and an error. They play him to full, they play him deep. Sharp shot, right field, left through. For a base hit for Reggie Smith. Base hit number three for Los Angeles. Ron Say now with one out. These next two guys would like to put only 5% fat, so it's it's pretty hard and firm. And that's up the alley in right center as Rivers goes hard and makes the catch. Fine play by Mickey Rivers. Rivers oh, got a now great... speed can be used. Well, right? he got a great jump on that ball. Give him that. It was in full stride as you even began your recital on the replay. Harvey shot up the middle, and it almost knocked Torres down. Reggie Smith, easy into third base. Harvey's on with a single. Woo! What a shot. The ball started straight up the middle, and suddenly bent slightly to right. 60 feet, six inches. And after you get done throwing the ball, you're not much more than 50 feet away. That ball's coming back at you some against the pillar. Thirty homers. Got it in, I guess, next to the last at bat for the season. He got his thirtieth homer, making Los Angeles the first team in history to have four men. If 
Harvey goes. Oh, goodbye, goodbye. Way back, it is. Oh, man, it's Dusty Baker, the hero of the playoff games against Philadelphia, with a grand slammer and a second homer. Let's look at it again, Tom. Look at where that pitch is. That was not a pitcher's pitch, right in the middle of the plate. I've given up enough of those. That ball jumped off the bat. Watch well, Reggie. Reggie knows too. He knows <laughs> that ball's gone. Yep. You play in a park long enough, you just know when the hitter hits the ball when it's going to be out of the park. Not over the fence yet. Wait a minute. <laughs> Looking for the plate. Looking for the plate. There it is. The second, and there was Taurus facing a two-on situation again in the third. Back three four. Larry McCoy and Rick Monday is out. Second time he has struck out in the ball game. But the Los Angeles Dodgers on Dusty Baker's home run get even at three three with the Yankees after three complete innings of play. Five and one for the Dodgers. Craig Nettles will lead it off for New York here in the top of the fourth. Bucky Dent and then Mike Torres. Ball is stroked into right center field for a base hit by Greg Nettles. The Yankees with a leadoff man aboard. John very well, and Tommy agreed with that. Tommy said he also had trouble with Reggie Jackson when he was in the American League. Get on the ground. In the hole. Slay knocks it down. There'll be no play. Base hit. Base. Torres' job is to get the ball, bunt it down towards Slay, pull him off the bag. Is up. But expected. And Steve Garvey in suppose he could shake hands with him as Mike fouls it away. Get the runners advanced to third and second. Bunt it out in front. Yeager out in a hurry. Has to go to first base. How are you doing? That's a good bunt. He did a good job. Preparation for all this. You know, knowing if they did get to the World Series that they would have to hit and they would have to bunt. Ball is hit on the ground to Davey Lopes. He'll go to first. Tom scores. Yankees regain the lead for three. Run batted in for Mickey River. There's a sinker. And it's foul. Evens account at 2 2 with two out and Dent at third. Nettles, Dent followed with a single, then Mickey Rivers bounced Nettles home. And here's a fly ball hit the right field for Reggie Smith. And makes the catch. So the New York Yankees. On two base hits and a sacrifice, regained the lead over the Dodgers 4-3 after three and a half innings. Here in the bottom of the fourth inning, the count is one ball and one strike on the Dodger catcher. High pop-up. It'll go to short center field. Mickey Rivers comes jogging on in and makes the catch. And you can get Davy Lopes out of the inning next hitter. Struck him out. He did not walk the pitcher. Davy Lopes will bat with no one on. The 6:46 Western Time, Pacific Time. Feet on the ground with a shortstop, Bucky dead. Got him. So the Dodgers go in order in the bottom of the fourth inning. And after four complete innings of play, the Yankees lead the Dodgers four to three. Bravo, too. Yep. I thought you were going to win the pennant for it. <laughs> when you had to go to Cleveland. Bounced to Russell. Thurman digging it out down the line. Made it close, but he's gone. One away. Eight Eastern time. Walked him. Hey. It's no 
normal routine? You're not doing too bad yourself, old boy. <laughs> Off Tommy John's glove, there will be no play. Couldn't come down with it, and if he had not... And Lou Pinella has his second base hit of the night. Here's Chris Chambliss, struck out and hit into a double play. We'll see what happens here. Pulls it sharp. There it is. There it is. Base hit. Reggie Jackson will turn at third. Reggie Smith up with the ball. And the throw goes across the third as Reggie Jackson scores. From second base and the Yankees lead five to three. So Lou Pinella made the turn at second and got right on going and went in at third base. Set momentum going that way and now. Nettles strikes out. That's two, and Bucky Dent will be the hitter. They're showing something of... Walked in. The bases are loaded. I suppose with the pitcher coming, uh, Tommy figured he might try to tease Dent rather than give him a strike to hit. Tommy is now getting a visit from the manager, Tom Lasorda with Mike Torres at the plate. I don't think Tommy, Tommy John, wanted to give Dent anything there to hit. Not at all. You get a runner at third base, another hit. You're going to go down 6-3, to three, and he knows he's got two outs with the pitcher coming up next. You know, he just has to blow his neck. Tommy Lasorda in that situation is go out there and give his pitcher a little bit of confidence. You know, Tommy agrees with him possibly about walking and pitching around Bucky Dent. Go ahead and go. Blow your neck hard and go after So, the Yankees scratch away and get one more run and lead the Dodgers after four and a half, five, three. Russell, Reggie Smith, and Ron Say. Steve Garvey would be the fourth man. Mike Torres pitching for New York. Russell beats it on the ground to Bucky Dent, who throws him out. When Baker hit the home run. Wielding a good bat. Started to hit well. He did. Don't blame him. All four. That was only about ten years ago. Ten years ago is all. Yeah. Ron. Then he went to St. Louis. Korean. Ron Say coming to the plate. This program an exclusive presentation of ABC Sports. Let's pause five seconds to allow our local stations to identify themselves. Strong. Three balls and no strikes. He's Four. doing it. He got Bill Russell on a grounder to short, and now, having walked Reggie Smith and gone to 3-0 and on Ron Say, that gets Billy Martin out of the dugout in a hurry, and it'll get some action in the Yankee bullpen, probably Dick Tidrow. You know what a pitcher does here, Keith, a lot of times, is get into problems. He knows he's behind a big hitter, a guy like a Say or a Garvey. He gets behind him 2-0. and oh. Then he knows he has to make that perfect pitch. He has to... Lay it on that corner. There's Tidrow in the Yankee bullpen getting loose. And as a result, you find a lot of pitchers will they'll try and aim the ball, almost like they're throwing darts to home base, home plate, and then they take so much off the ball and make such bad mistakes. You just can't pitch behind. And you must never aim the ball. That was the point Koufax always used to make, Tom. Hips, they'll be spinning out of there. He won't have it. But it's playable. High fly ball to left center and Pinella comes across in front of Rivers to make the play. Reggie Smith back to first base. That's two out. Torres and right through Randolph. He's Nobody the, saw the thing. He's done that to be a year of a six-year contract with the Dodgers. Hits it sharply. But gets a big bounce for Greg Nettles who throws it a little bit high and he's safe. He beat it up. The ball went spinning into the air and by the time it came down to Greg Nettles, Darby had churned it out. On it, you let it play you. Well, he waited for that second bounce, and by that time, Garvey was there. Baker. Two for two, a three-run homer, and a single. Get on the ground, and Nettles goes to second, and they get him. And so Mike Torres escapes. As the Dodgers threaten, but can't make through, and it remains Yankees 5-3. Back with more after this word from our local station. To Mickey. 
Rivers with a pair of doubles and has rolled out to the second baseman. But that ground out got him an RBI. This time he taps it to Davy Lopes and he's out. On balls in the second inning. Defensive alignment gives him left center. That's what. To the shortstop, Russell. Got him. Now that's Tommy John. That's the way Tommy John pitches right there. Ground ball to the second base and a ground ball to the shortstop. Back home run. Opening the game right here in Dodger Stadium. Little guys get good power on the right center. Those kick can surprise you. Thurman Munson, double, scored a run, struck out. Munson swings and misses, striking out. And so Tommy John blows the Yankees away. In the top of the sixth inning, three in a row, and it's five three Yankees after five and a half. Yankees have three miles an hour. What do you average? You're a strikeout pitcher. High fly ball to left field. Vanella backs up. Right on the edge of the warning track. Makes the catch for out number one. Tommy's a ground ball pitcher. A lot of hitters hit the first pitch. Ground ball to the second baseman. Ground ball to the shortstop. Yeager hits it up the middle. Sinking liner drops for a base hit. Base hit number seven for the Dodgers off Mike Torres. With one out, Ed Goodson was in the on-deck circle. He has now gone back. And the seven. Yeager hits it up the middle. Sinking liner drops for a base hit. Base hit number seven for the Dodgers off Mike Torres. With one out, Ed Goodson was in the on-deck circle. He has now gone back. And Yeager gets the base hit, gets on first base. They don't want to give him that big hole over there on the right side. Randolph well over two. Gets him on the ground right at Willie Randolph. Shovels over to Dent for one, over to first. No, safe. Throw for Chris Chambers off the bag. Yeager's a big guy. Strong, muscular fella. He's going to go after the second baseman. That's a shortstop like he did, but that's a good clean slide. Looks like he didn't the spikes a little bit. The Dodgers have had one big blow in the ball game. Three-run homer by Dusty Baker. Back. Way ahead here, 0-2. Watch Thurman move around and give him a good sign. Taps it to the pitcher. Torres throws him out, and the inning is over. And so after six complete innings of play at Dodger Stadium, the Yankees, five runs, nine hits, and no errors. The Dodgers, three runs, seven hits, and one error. How many knuckleballers are there in the American League, Tom? Do you know? I don't know. I think Keith knows. <laughs> He's beeped it Keith for knows. me. Keith origination through the long developmental process that the Dodgers employ. Gabe Paul restructured. Over Wood and an occasional knuckle curve from uh, Steve Mendori of Kansas City are the only knuckles I can come up with in the American League, as Reggie Jackson finds out back in the crowd. So it is obvious the Yankees have not looked at very many knuckleballs this season. 68 to 70, and on that last pitch, 73 is going down. Once in a while, we'll throw you a fastball, and he just struck out Reggie Jackson on a blazing 69 mile an hour fastball. <laughs> <laughs> One out. Yankees are leading 5 3. I was now, kidding, Lou. Lou Pinella gets a look at the dancer. I was kidding, but. Big games had three wins and six saves in the early part of the year. High fly ball lifted into short left field for. Bill Russell, the shortstop, drifting back to make the catch. He's got two out. Well, Keith, it's funny about Charlie Huff. He really he did have a super first half. You know, you know he kind of he went he went bad. He soured, and they really started to get on him here. They were booing him badly. It was really some defense. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Up the middle, Russell at the back. Got to hurry. Got it. So Charlie Huff comes in with his dancing knuckleball and gets the Yankees in order in the top of the seventh. 5-3 New York. Defensive change now for the Yankees. Paul Blair is in right field replacing Reggie Jackson. Russell followed by Reggie Smith then Ron Say. Russell hit this in three trips in the game tonight. Short shot right at right middle. Oh, hit it on the nose, but Greg was right there. 
Well, it proved out for Martin when he benched Jackson for defensive reasons in the final game against Kansas City. Preston Gomez at third, coaching for the Dodgers. Jim Gilliam at first. Two and two. Struck him out. So Mike Torres continues very effectively as he fans Reggie Smith and now will pitch to Ron Say. Billy Martin will watch him closely from here on. Say checks and it is foul. Bounces up in the crowd and they boot it right back onto the field. Somebody's high <laughs> fly ball into relatively short center field for Mickey Rivers. And so, Mike Torres continues to sail along as the Yankees lead the Dodgers after 7-5-3. Who in your league hits the knuckle? Well, Mike is down signing uh, autographing baseball. There's a knuckle ball hit well to right. Reggie Smith one-hands it. That's play. Ball is hit to left. Dusty Baker has to come, loses his cap, one hands it. Two out. Dusty got a slow start, Tom. Slow on base at least once tonight. Duckler is stroke out into left center field and over in a hurry. Flag it down. One base. So the Yankees go in order in the top of the eighth inning, and they lead 5-3. In the eighth inning, he does get in trouble. Barbie hits it up the middle, fly ball. Mickey Rivers holds his ground and makes the catch. That's one out. Kind of interesting, Mike Torres today indicating that he might like to go pitch for the Red Sox. The agent's been asking for half a million dollars. The Yankees have shelled out so much money already, they're not disposed. I really enjoyed lunch with him today. Count has gone full now on Dusty Baker. Three balls and two strikes. The last two pitches by Torres have been in the dirt. And, uh, Yogi Berra on the phone, I'm sure, to the bullpen to find out if folks are ready down there. Three-two pitch, Baker. Strikes out. Dusty doesn't know he's out. Look at this. Dusty doesn't know he's out. He can't believe it. Umpire did call him out. It was a yes, good he pitch. Did. He didn't hear the call, evidently. Now watch. Right on the outside corner. Good pitch by Torres. He went all the way he around. all the anyway. way around. No a big question. swing at it. The one takes it, I guess. Rick Monday. Practically every day. He'll ease some of the pain. Bouncer to Shambliss. First base. He'll do it himself. Chambliss came over, his foot slipped off the bag, and Rick Mundy went down tumbling. Chambliss quick to apologize to him. Mundy understands, and the smile evidences the fact. Well, that was a mistake on the play at first base. So, Rick tumbles down. Now watch, uh, Chris, his foot will slip across the bag. He just wanted to hit the inside part of it. You see that he lost the grip on the bag, and... They tangled feet, Monday went down, but he's all right. So the score continues after 8-5-3 Yankees. Top of the ninth inning, top of the order for the Yankees. Mickey Rivers, Willie Randolph, and Thurman Munson. And Rivers hits the knuckleball up the middle for a base hit. Takes a big turn at first and hangs on as Monday brings it back in. First guy to get to Huff. First guy, Tom. Mick over. Willie Randolph now for the Yankees. As Bob Hope, another great sportsman. And a knuckleballer on the mound. They call a strike on him. First base umpire, Jerry Dale, said yes. <laughs> Little pop. Monday's there in short center. Makes the catch. One out. On that last pitch... Yeager called for a pitch out, didn't get it. Well, that's why he went to the mound to get his sign straight. <laughs> down. 
Now, yet. Buckler bends Thurman away a little bit, and Steve Yeager goes to the mound. There was another little piece of baseball news drifting around Southern California today. A former Dodger executive, Buzzy Babesi, who has been down to San Diego. 68 miles an hour, and you're 3-1 and one on Thurman Munson. That's the second save. So Billy finally turned him loose, and he's sitting on second. Got a good jump. That man right there can run with the best of them. He told me yesterday he's going to probably do a little run and show these people out here. Of course, he played out here in Southern California. Show him again what he can do. And he got him. It was. That's the third time Thurman has struck out tonight. I don't think you'll see that very often. You can see Huss Knuckles up on top of that ball, his fingers up on top, and look at that thing dive. He retired eight of the nine Yankees that he has faced. Now he pitches to Paul Blair. Mickey Rivers, the only man to reach on him, and Mickey is now. Lashes it. Oh, nice. Defensive play of the night. Wow. That's what you call a major league play. That's super. Here's Mickey, Mickey Rivers down there. What's this? He'll say in number 10. One step, boom, line drive, you're out. That's a great play. Once again, Blair hit the ball and hit it well. And so, you go to the bottom of ninth inning. The New York Yankees leading the Los Angeles Dodgers 5-3. 5-3. Steve Yeager, then Manny Mota is in the on-back circle, then the top of the order. Check swing roller to Greg Meadows at third. And excuse me, swing, and there's one out. And Manny Mota comes up. I remember watching him on He's TV. He's a holy, sure. holy little guy, a catcher. With the Reds and then with the Bucks. And he could get out of bed at 3 in the morning. Victory! He didn't waste any time with Mota. Pitching strongly, confidently. Oh, he just works superbly. Torres has understood everything that Thurman wants him to do. And most of the time he's done he wants it. Look at that face. He wants it. Whoa. Thurman thought he had. <laughs> Did you see that little jump? Got him. Mark Torres goes the distance. And he beats the Dodgers 5-3. So the Yankees take a 2-1 game lead in the series. The Yankees come out of all of the controversy and all of the storm and all of the emotional chaos of yesterday, and they win a very, very big win. And on top of that, as we pointed out at the very start of the game, coincidence or not, Mickey Rivers came out of it. He got three hits. He led off the game with a blue double down the right field foul line. Quickly, the Yankees sped to three runs, and from then on in, Mike Torres took over the dominant victory. 5-3, final.